Hey guys, we are back on day five of our story of St. Patrick and he had just gone back to Ireland. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and listen. You can go back on YouTube, they're all on there. But he had just gone back because he had a dream of hearing the people of Ireland saying, come back, Patrick, come back, teach us. And he wanted to go back and teach them about Jesus. All right, so he was down the path and a man invited him in for dinner and his little son, Benin, came and um, he just loved Patrick. He played music for him on his harp and he did not want to let him go. And so finally, um, Benin's father said, can he go with you? And he said, yes, he could come with me. And it was a long, beautiful life of partnering as um, friends. And um, it's a beautiful story of Benin. But let's move on and see where we're at. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. On the road, Patrick saw six men. Where are you going, they asked. To see the king, answered Patrick. I want to bring him Christ's message of peace. I love that. So direct. So this is what we're doing. Can we come along, they asked. We have enough food for you and your little friend. Come join us. You are welcome, said Patrick. As they walked, he explained to them all about Christ's message of peace. It was growing dark, and when they reached the hill of Slain, as it was night before Easter Sunday, the day Christians celebrated Christ rising from the dead, we know all about that, right? They stopped and made camp. After all had eaten their fill, Patrick lit the Easter fire, and they all prayed and sang aloud, Christ our light. Wow, doesn't that sound like a beautiful thing just to be out in the middle of a mountain, beautiful fire going, singing about Jesus. Oh, it sounds like a beautiful time, but maybe not to those who don't know Jesus. Let's see what they, what they thought. From the hill of Tara, miles away, the king saw the fire. It was in the distant darkness. Across the plain, he watched the fire burning. What do you think is going to happen? Locru, his chief druid. Now, the druids were the ones who they really did not believe in Christ or our God. They had false gods, okay? And they would have all these rituals and all these things they had to do to please gods who are not even true, right? They were not true. So he sees the fire, shouted, whoever lit that fire must die. Whew. It is against the law to light a fire during these sacred days. The king immediately called his warriors. Then joined, then joined by the druids, they all leapt on the horses and rode to the hill of slain to punish the offenders. Whew. There they are out just having a nice Easter fire. How many of you guys have a fire in your backyard sometimes? Like you have a fire pit or when you go camping sometimes you have a fire. I think it would be a beautiful thing to have an Easter fire and celebrate the light of the Lord, right? Jesus is our light. But people who don't know Jesus, they don't always want to see the light, do they? Until they really learn who he is. Do you guys think today you could go out and shine some light? Shine the light of Jesus? We don't have to worry too much about druids and um, the king sending people against us just because we believe about believe Jesus and want to light a fire and shine his light. But there are countries even today, even today where there's people who would be thrown in a dungeon or killed or um, tormented just because they want to tell people about Jesus. So let's pray for them today and let's go out and shine the light of Jesus today. All right, we'll see what happens with Patrick tomorrow. All right, you guys, have a great day.